So recently, AIU modified name the trait and used it against the alt-right. He did this in a tongue-in-cheek manner, but he still did it completely correctly, which indicates that at least at an informal level, if not at the level of formal logic, he understands the mechanics of the argument. Now, name the trait is just as much of a pain in the ass for the alt-right as it is for carnists. Any of these positions that do something along the lines of basing moral value on a property completely divorced from the conscious experience of sentient beings are going to have absolutely hilarious reductios on them, which makes them perfect positions to target with Name the Trait. I thought you guys would appreciate this alternate usage, despite uh, whatever other things AIU might have said to annoy our community in the past. So here is a clip of him responding to Richard Spencer using Name the Trait. Let's make Name the Trait the number one argument in the race debate meta 2019. All right, here we go. Oh God, the flames rise. What is that call to action? Rise, rise, what? Was I kneeling? What, what's happening? Rise up? Rise and be white and be part of the whites. <laughs> This is a little bit loose, Richard. It's a little bit amorphous. Now, I know the guy is speaking in abstractions and generalities, and he doesn't really have a concrete plan of action. It's more of just a concept. He just wants you to be proud and in touch with your history and identify intentionally, beyond anything else, identify as being white. That is somehow important to him. And you notice that he tries to define what it is to be white, but that isn't true. There's nothing inherent about being white that comes with certain attributes or goals or... I mean, it just doesn't exist. There are differences between white people. I mean, if you're starting some white group, you're telling me you want all the white people just to sign up? No, you don't. There's tons, there's millions of fucking idiotic white people who are doing nothing good and who are just terrible, classless human beings. We don't want them. So the second you determine, well, name the trait, name the trait in the white person, that if present in a non-white person, you'd want them in your group. Okay, how about this? They're smart enough to be an atheist. Great. Okay, how about this? They're non-criminal in nature. They live and let live. They abide by the golden rule. Okay, cool. Those are two traits. So why are we limiting ourselves? You're telling me you don't want the Argentinian, the Brazilian, the Nigerian who exhibits those things, but because they look different, then they're out? No, that doesn't make sense. That's caveman mentality. One of the great features of Name the Trait is that it's generalizable to any consistency testing situation. And AIU is making use of that generalizability here by altering the objects in the argument, humans and animals, to people of different races. And the property in the argument from moral value to being wanted in the group. And of course, if this were a live discussion or debate where Spencer were responding, if AIU could extract a clear answer to this question, he'd be able to slap Spencer's view with a reductio or expose a contradiction within it. If Spencer were to say, there is no such trait, AIU could show that his view contains a contradiction, because if there's no point in the trait equalization process where the given black person gains the trait of being wanted in the group, then all traits can be equalized without the given black person gaining the trait of being wanted in the group. But if all traits can be equalized without the given black person gaining the trait of being wanted in the group, then white people don't have the trait of being wanted in the group, right? If the traits are equalized, whatever remains after equalization is possessed by both beings. To then say the given white person is wanted in the group produces contradiction in the form it's true and false that the given white person is wanted in the group. But if on the other hand, Spencer were to say there is such a trait, it is X, AIU would be able to smack his view with a reductio. If the trait were just being white, for example, then if the given black person were a psychopathic murderer, but he gained the trait of being white, he'd be wanted in the group. That seems a little nutty, to say the least. Anyway, glad to see Name the Trait getting some usage, even tongue-in-cheek, in other contexts. It's like watching my baby leave home and start their own life. Kind of makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. That's all for today. Till next time.